Continue our working day at Ukraine Crisis Media Center, and now the floor is given to Colonel Andrei Lysenko, Ministry of Defense of Ukraine spokesperson on ATO-related issues. Welcome. Welcome. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Now the information about the events that happened in the region of anti-terror operation. And uh, first, we want to say that uh, during the last 24 hours, uh, it didn't differ much from the previous days. Russian occupation forces continued to violate ceasefire regime and deliver precision shellings of uh, positions of the armed forces of Ukraine, including with the use of weapons that are banned by the Minsk agreements. The Lugansk sector, the enemy delivered 11 shellings uh, uh, precision shelling six, six times. Uh, they uh, delivered fire to positions of Ukrainian forces uh, in the region of Lugansk, and uh, uh, they launched uh, uh, three times the mines of 82 millimeter of caliber, and also uh, on the whole they launched nine, uh, 96 mines. And uh, uh, the enemy actively uses grenade launchers and small arms, and uh, also the same weapons was used uh, um, three times uh, at our positions near Krymske and in the region of Travneva. The enemy uh, used mortars and, uh, um, of, uh, and 83 millimeter twinned anti-aircraft gun Zu-23-2, and also uh, the enemy used um, um, uh, 11 eight, uh, 82mm mines, and uh, 10 mines of uh, the same caliber uh, was launched by the enemy uh, against our defenders of Makarova, and also uh, the enemy used grenade launchers and uh, large caliber machine guns. And uh, in the prevailing uh, instances, the defenders uh, uh, returned fire with the use of grenade launchers and small arms. In the Donetsk sector, uh, the overall um, number of precision fire delivered by the enemy, these were 11 uh, precision shellings, three uh, bursts of artillery shells of 122 mm of, of caliber were recorded uh, near Vodiane and uh, twice the enemy delivered shelling with the use of mortars of 120 mm of caliber um, at our defenders in Pav Pavlopil. Also, uh, the enemy used, um, there were 10 bursts of 120 mm um, of caliber near Shirokina. Uh, also, the enemy shell positions near Taramchuk, Marinka, Divka, Novotrovitska and Staragnatevka, and the enemy um, used their grenade launchers and large caliber machine guns. And uh, the enemy um, fire uh, was delivered uh, at these positions, and the Ukrainian forces uh, um, responded in case uh, of threat to the lives of servicemen. And uh, the um, um, our servicemen delivered fire with the use of weapons that are not banned by the Minsk agreements. Unfortunately, in the region of Novotroitska, in the result of explosion of an unknown explosive device, a serviceman of the National Guard of Ukraine was wounded and he was promptly evacuated to medical institution where he is provided with all necessary medical help. According to information provided by main intelligence department of MOD, Russian Occupation Command, believe, believe that overall decrease of discipline among the militants is the result of unsatisfactory completion of their duties by the officers concerning educational work. And in the units and large units of the 1st and 2nd Army Corps, they organized a check of superior officers, whether they correspond their positions with further determination of uh, service ex their service expedience. The President of Ukraine, Supreme Commander-in-Chief uh, of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, while being on the working visit to uh, Mariupol, presented uh, b uh, combat colors to a uh, 503rd detached battalion of Marines of the uh, Navy Forces of Armed Forces of Ukraine and also inspected weaponry and uh, um, awarded the servicemen. Uh, 503rd detached battalion of Marines is aimed to act uh, in the course of uh, together with assault forces to defend the coastline ports and uh, uh, important
important facilities in Azov zone and it was formed uh, uh, this year on the basis of uh, 36 detached brigade of marines. Also, uh, General uh, Staff Commander in Chief uh, Viktor Muzhenka was on a working visit to ATO zone yesterday. Uh, the Commander in Chief uh, uh, got information about operative situation at the front line, check conditions in which servicemen uh, serve, and uh, also uh, he checked the winter readiness of the units and detachments along the line of confrontation. No questions. Thank you.